Good evening and thanks for joining us. From tragic homicide investigations to unsolved arsons and a local school corporation under fire. They were all some of Terre Haute's major crime stories in 2016. As a new chapter begins, we're taking a look back. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on what headlines had you at home talking. Armed and dangerous, this as police searched for the killer of Thomas Fuller III. In the first homicide of the year, Fuller was murdered inside his apartment on 23rd Street after a manhunt that captivated the community. Buddy Ellinger was arrested. He has been charged and is awaiting trial. The family of Fuller spoke on behalf of his daughter. I want Buddy to go to prison and never get out so another little girl don't have to wake up without her dad. This is B92.7. I am Matt Luking. All right, the murder of well-known radio personality Matt Luking shook the airwaves. I hope he's in heaven feeling the love. Luking was known as a champion of many Wabash Valley causes. In October, police found Luking dead inside his village quarter apartment. Detectives believe he was targeted. Don Featherstone was arrested for his murder, and the case continues to play out in court. If you miss someone, you tell them. Because you don't know when you get another chance. A wanted man is still on the loose in 2017. You might remember in August, a judge ordered the release of Isaiah Benford. The court had no choice due to a delay in his trial. Benford stands accused of knowingly spreading HIV for more than a decade. He is set to face a jury of his peers in February, but officials say Benford could be out of town or even out of state. We're kind of limited resources wise to check those other than calling those local agencies to maybe check around up there. But some of these areas they're giving us are rather large cities, so that makes it kind of difficult. <laughs> The city also battled its fair share of arsons in 2016, with the most devastating blaze destroying the lighthouse mission. Everyone escaped unharmed. However, the fire shut down the Wabash Avenue shelter, displacing 48 residents. Investigators continue to search for the person responsible. Pretty scary uh, to think that someone would do something like that. Um, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. But perhaps the most shocking moments came during an unexpected FBI raid on the Vigo County School Corporation. Frank Shahadi and Franklin Fennell have been arrested, accused of entering into a kickback scheme for profit. This was just shocking. I'm, it really is. These are just some of the many crime stories that made headlines. For your 2016 year in review in Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, Lindsay Yates, News 10. For an in-depth look at some of the stories we've highlighted, head over to our website. It's WTHITV.com.